of July. July. Hey guys, I'm Davida from The Healthy Maven and I am in Abby's kitchen, like Abby's actual kitchen. The real one. Yeah. We're I'm here. really excited to be here today. We're teaming up to bring you 4th of July recipes that are super quick, easy, vegan, healthy, you know the jam. So you know, good. You know how we roll here. All right, so we are going to throw together the most adorable vegan coconut berry parfaits. Sounds awesome. We are going to start with the crust, and we're making a like raw graham crust. Love it. Love yeah, it. we're keeping things raw because I am super lazy, <laughs> and I love celebrating Fourth of July, yeah. and I do not want to be stuck in the kitchen. Nobody wants to heat up that no. kitchen. So can you grab me yes. the pecans? So we're going to start with our pecans, and we're going to put them in a food processor. You can use a high-speed blender for this, but I just prefer the food processor. I do too. I love my food processor. Me too. It's my best friend. Me too. <laughs> so we're just going to pour those in there, and then I need some dates. Beautiful. Perfect. So we toss those dates in there, and then some cinnamon. cinnamon. You got it. That's it. And that makes our crust. Now we throw the top on, and it's going to get loud in here. Mm -hmm. well, it does all the work. Earmuffs. So. Let's check on it. Let's check her out. Yeah, let's check on it. Ooh, that was good. I know. Oh God, Should we take good. a whiff? Ooh, it's steaming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. How could that be bad, guys? How could that be bad? I know. It's amazing. I need to get in there too. Yeah. Okay, right. Oh, dates. I love them. Mm, we don't. Mm -hmm. Nature's candy. Nature's candy. All right. That's good. So good. So it takes under a minute to process. Super easy. Can I have you yep. scoop this guy into here? All right, so that's our crust. Awesome. That was easy. Now we need to make our filling. And it's really, really simple. You can use a hand blender for this or yeah. um, like a hand mixer. Right. But we already used some hardcore equipment, so I thought we'd keep it simple and simple. get in our arm workout. So what we did is we scooped out some coconut cream from the top of the can. He, I know, it's so good. And the trick is you take your coconut cream and you put it in the refrigerator and you leave it overnight. After it's sat overnight in the fridge, you open it up and you scoop out that thick cream that's at the top of the can. So good. I'm already sold. I'm already sold. I know. And then put it in a bowl. So now uh, what I do is I go in with a spoon and I just kind of break up the chunks. And it definitely takes a little bit of elbow grease. So just kind of breaking it up, making it a little smoother. Mm -hmm. like you want it to be nice and smooth. Yeah, it's like creaming butter. And then eventually it's gonna break down so that you it's can get in there. Really I know, it's getting there, right? Yeah. So, right. my dear, can you add the maple syrup? So good, very Canadian. I know. <laughs> Let's be honest, the Americans love our maple syrup. Yeah, okay. it's like our best asset. It really is, that and poutine, so. Yeah. <laughs> And then we got some vanilla here, just a um, teaspoon. So just drop that in there. Okay. It might ready? be whisk time. I think it's whisk time. Going in. All right. Go Guess for I it. I gotta do a little bit of work. I know. Too. I know. Put me to work. We did. We did use the smallest bowl for this. I operation. know. I, I don't know what we were thinking. It's all good. All right. So we're gonna use these mini mason jars to put these together. They're adorable. Who doesn't love mason jars? Love They're mini, which makes them even better and they're portable. That's the best part. So all we need is a scoop of the crust right okay. here. And you're gonna layer it in the bottom. And you can kind of go as big or little as you want. That's the fun part about these is that you really can kind of do it however you want. All right, let's go in with the cream. And you just top it on top, super easy. As you can so tell, this makes amazing. a lot, so you can do like a bunch of mini mason jars so, so that everyone has one at the party and they can walk around. They got one, a cocktail in one hand, they got their dessert mason in the other. the other. Perfect. And now it's time to get things super festive mm -hmm. with uh, some berries. So you can be super decorative and design it out. So, you know, do a pretty little design or you can be ultra lazy and just- Toss them all in there. Toss them all in there. It's totally your call. I mean, they're berries. It's gonna look beautiful no matter yeah. what. It's so good. Yes, perfect. They look so pretty. So there you have it. We have our vegan, healthy coconut berry parfaits. So good. They are so cute. You just pop a lid on there, take them over to your 4th of July party. You are gonna be the life of the party with yeah, these. such a hit. Well, thanks for having me oh, today. thanks for coming. It was so fun being in Abby's kitchen today. We made some serious 4th of July magic happen today. Ooh. These look delicious, and if you like this recipe, head over to Abby's channel, check out her recipe for healthy watermelon cake. It will be perfect for your 4th of July party. And as always, 
like this video. If you enjoyed this recipe, comment below letting me know what you're gonna be doing for 4th of July. And uh, maybe I'll let you in on my plans. Mm. They're a little wild. Wild. <laughs> yeah, and of course, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a future video. All so right. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm super excited. About Let's this. get into this. Ooh. See you later, guys. Do not shake the can. Don't shake, shake the can. It. I know no, you're gonna be tempted. It. Don't shake it. No shake, shake, no, shake. No, 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 no,